We had wild weather. We had tornado outbreaks. We had a derecho in December. And I started just connecting the dots between extreme weather and climate change. And then the volume of pushback started to increase quite dramatically. And then it hit that, that peak uh, last summer when I received the death threat. It was followed up by obsessive emails for the next couple of weeks, several times a week, just writing vulgar, cruel, horrible stuff and sending them to me. Our relationship with science in this country is tenuous at best. You know, it's, it's really unclear uh, where, what people will believe because there's so many alternative facts out there. If, if there's a sonic boom, if, if there's uh, an earthquake, an eclipse, the stations go to their probably the only scientist on their staff, which is their broadcast meteorologist. How does one individual meteorologist talk about this? It's it's a myriad of things. What is his or her, you know, personal understanding of the science? How comfortable is he or she with the science? What part of the country do they live in? Do they want to put their standing at risk? Uh, what is their management like? These are all things that have to be considered. It's essentially a war on the truth and. As journalists, we work to uncover the truth. As scientists, we use data to support our findings. Ideology and belief, I'm sorry, doesn't, doesn't outweigh the latter.